Hey, first grade, I missed you. Don't worry, I'm back. We're gonna do some more learning about needs and wants, but this time I have a story for you. So sit back, relax, and all my friends know, eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices are quiet, and our bodies are still, and we're ready to listen to a story. All right, so here we go. Our story today is Lily Learns About Wants and Needs by Lisa Bullard. And it kind of gives you a little idea of what the story will be about. It says, Lily wants a new bike and a new raincoat and ice cream. But how many of these things does she need? That's a great question. That's something that we're going to find out. So here we go. Chapter one. Want or need? Hey, Dad, you want me to watch less TV and play outside more? So I really need this new bike, I said. You might want a new bike, Lily, Dad said, but that's not the same thing as needing one. A need is something we have to have. Dad thought a moment. We all need to exercise, but you can ride your old bike or do other active things. So can I buy a skateboard or a roller skates? I asked. Dad smiled, good try. But today let's only spend money on things that we need. Chapter two, buying only what we need. I need a new raincoat, I said. My old one is too small. I like that one. Rainy season is coming soon, Dad said. Let's check it out. If her old one no longer fits and rainy season is coming, hmm, I wonder if she does need one. Dad looked at the coat and the price tag. This won't keep you very dry and it costs too much. We'll keep looking. I found another raincoat on sale and Dad let me buy that one. Think back to our lessons about spending your money and making those choices and being responsible. If there are two different raincoats and one is for $30 and one is only for 20 and the $30 one isn't going to work that well, which one would you buy? The $30 one or the one on sale? Hmm, I would buy the one on sale because it is less expensive and it will probably do a better job. Time for your visit to the dentist, said dad. We're only spending money on things we need, I said. So we don't have to go. My teeth have already fallen out. ruh -ro, look at her face. She's missing some teeth. Dad laughed. Sorry, Lily, you need to see the dentist anyways. I was good at the dentist, I said. Can we go bowling or play mini golf? Dad shook his head. We have to pay for those, but the park is free. Ooh, that's true. I swung high on the swings. Then I saw the ice cream truck. Dad, I'm hungry. I really need some ice cream. Hmm, is ice cream what you're supposed to eat when you're hungry first grade? Dad said, special treats are okay sometimes, but a treat is a want, not a need. Let's find a healthy snack at the grocery store on our way home. And now a healthy snack is gonna fill you up much more than ice cream if you're hungry. Hmm. Think about it in your head. What's your favorite healthy snack? Hopefully you're not saying potato chips. Don't say cake. Maybe you're thinking an apple or an orange or a banana or a sandwich or something like that. Chapter three, everyone has to make choices. At the store, dad took out a shopping list. Deciding about wants and needs isn't just for kids. Our whole family has to do it. Want to help? I looked at the list. Mom always says I need to drink my milk and eat my vegetables. So I guess we have to get them. And we need toilet paper. I took another look. Dad, you wrote root beer in big red letters. Does that mean we need it? Dad looked sad. I love root beer, he said. But it's a want, not a need. We'll skip it today. They don't need pop, right? They might need water and milk. Mom works at the hospital. We stopped to pick her up. 
What are the things that people in, ho in the hospital need? Dad asks me. Help from doctors, I said, and medicine. Dad said, right. Think hard, Dad said. What does the hospital have that people don't really need but might want? I couldn't come up with anything. I know, said Mom. The rooms all have TVs. People like to watch them. But people don't need TV to get better. TV makes me feel better, I said but dad wants me to ride my old bike instead. And then kind of think to yourself, what do you need when you're feeling sick? Chapter four, when wants are okay. Dad had an idea as we drove home. Sometimes after people buy all they need, they have money left over. Then they can buy something they want. How about tomorrow we ride our bikes back to the park? We'll buy ice cream. Good idea, Dad, I said, because I know you think ice cream is a want, but my stomach sure thinks it's a need. Mine too sometimes, first grade. I love ice cream. Oh, and that's the end of our story. And you'll see there's a, there's a glossary right here. And a glossary is a great nonfiction text feature that tells you um, the meaning of words that you might not necessarily have known the meaning to. So for example, choices. If I didn't know what that meant, I would come here and it would tell me different things that you can pick from, right? When you make a decision. Or if I didn't know what a need was. A need is when you must have something to be safe or healthy or the thing you must have. So that's a great place to look if you need more information. Well, first grade, thank you so much for reading a story with me. And hopefully maybe you learned a little bit more about the difference between needs and wants and making those responsible choices between the two. Remember, wants are not something you need, but every once in a while, it's okay to indulge in a want, right? All right, first grade, thank you so much for being responsible and completing one of your afternoon jobs. I appreciate that so much. Kiss your brain for all that hard work. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you later, alligators. Bye.